everyone my name is Cheyenne Hussain today I'm going to fix a hack or malware issue in a WordPress website I already had a previous video regarding this issue but you know there are some other ways you can fix the redirect issue that was with limited knowledge that we just tried to change the URL in the database but for most users that didn't work now we have to explore where the malware is so for that you will need the cpanel access for your website because we're going to test each and every file like plugins themes and then each plugin then each theme then we're also going to test the wordpress core files we have to check where the malware is currently standing so anyway uh, let's open file manager this is a client website and uh, he said that he had a malware and now we have to check where the malware is so the domain is living well why l-i-v-i-n l-i-v-i-n so here we go it's redirecting and you can see first the website seems to be working fine but then it will suddenly redirect you to a website mm, okay I'm going to, I'm going to copy it right now the website seems working fine but it will redirect soon anyway first of all let's go to PHP my admin First, I will repeat the same procedure which I did in the previous video and that didn't work for many users so this is the first thing which I'm going to see uh, let me check the database here's the file manager and uh, public HTML oops we have any websites here uh, okay so I think this is the website which we are going to fix so view mm, the database name is 551 let me check the URL for this 551 go to options wait go on, wait, go on. option option options now let me check the link okay it is so you can see it's the accurate one so now we're going to do more steps to fix this issue we're gonna test different plugins themes or we are going to disable themes and plugins for some time it's fine the URL seems to be fine I'm going to cancel it and uh, here is our website mm, okay so first I'm going to double click content and it's redirecting me to who be who be it's I think a crypto theorem company something like that but it seems to be a big website I don't know why they're spraying malware using third parties so okay I'm just going to just cancel it and uh, okay let me open it again because I have to test this as well okay I'm going to cancel it and here oops it will redirect me let me okay I'm gonna cancel it when it load yeah perfect <sighs> so very first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the plugins for some time uh, what I'm going to do is plugins cow w okay and now we're going to refresh it we're gonna test whether the issue is uh, an any plugin and uh, you can see the issue is gone before that the redirect malware was working so it's mean the issue can be from the the issue can be in any one of the any one of this plugin so what I did is I disabled plugin folders to test whether the issue is from the plugins or themes or something else now we will test by removing each plugin to test whether the issue is from this or 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 this so according to my knowledge and experience it seems like 
the issue can be uh, the malware can be and this plugin and this plugin if these plugins are null then there will be a chance of malware on these plugins also these are pro plugins but if they are downloaded from third party services not the official one then there will be chance of malware so uh there can be also chance of this or this what is this plugin okay so yeah now you have to enable again plugins okay and then you have to remove one plugin then refresh again to see whether the malware gone or then remove the second one restore the first one like this you have to repeat the procedure to test whether the malware is from which plugin so this is how you can fix your malware issue i hope this video will be helpful for you because this is the so easy method to find the malware issue so thanks for watching this video see you in the next video if you have any questions you can contact me on fiverr have a good day bye bye